the guards, a freshman from Regal Park, New York, 6'2", number 12, Kenny Anderson. And a... 4 nothing, NC State. NC State comes out of the blocks with a awful lot of confidence against that Georgia Tech man-to-man. -man. Ryan Oliver, tough in low, despite the fact he's only six. An air ball, and Oliver pulls it down for Tech. No matter what tempo you're playing, you prefer to avoid things like that. And Mackey, the freshman inside, ties things at four. Really pushing the ball up. Nice pass by Corciani, but D'Amico missed inside, and Mackey with a rebound. We talked about Mackey's ability to run. He got down the court well that time. What a pass. Anderson to Johnny with an eight. Part of the game plan was obviously for Corciani to attack Anderson. And a Scott has yet to take a shot. Anderson almost lost the handle. Corciani just about took it away. And now we have a whistle and a foul underneath it. Free throw shooter, you don't even see that. Well, he might have seen something there. He missed that one anyway. And another rebound for Mackey. Oh, my. Nice pass. And McNeil missed the jam. Beautiful looking play until the very end. Gets the rebound, knocks Gugliotta down, comes up with the ball. He got the best of that in every capacity. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Anderson with an advantage, pulls up and takes it himself. Basket's good. And they get Malcolm Mackey for a pushing foul, and that may be a pretty big... He's got another one. And it's really helped him coming off the bench. He's provided an offensive spark. State cuts it to five, but it doesn't last long as Brian Oliver drives in and hits his seventh point of the game. A lot of standing around for North Carolina State. And it took the long-range shot. Scott pulled off the rebound. Here comes Anderson, two on two. He might do it himself. That's doing it yourself. And he draws the foul as well. He has tremendous control of the basketball on the dribble, Brad. I think, Brad, so that time you could see they spread the floor, give Corciani and Monroe a lot of room. Scott overhit it, he got that one to fall for him. He's got four. Uh, there's nobody under the basket. Nobody under the basket at all. Corciani goes one on three. Comes away empty. Here comes Kenny Anderson the other way. Nice pass to Oliver. Brian Oliver's got nine, and he is down. No good, and Barnes the freshman. Pulls it off the glass for Georgia Tech. Kenny Anderson got Corciani up and took the shot and got it. Trying to draw the ball. Ten years at North Carolina State. And he's 0 for 1 from the free throw line. And he hits that one. Jim Valvano in his crouch over there is shouting, all ball, all ball. And work the officials for the next 30 seconds or so on that one as Anderson hits both free throw lines. D'Amico goes over Mackey. Mackey wise not to follow him. Now, well, once again, there's that pass by Kenny Anderson. That's what he did so effectively in the first half. Starts out the second half the same way. Brian Oliver didn't look like the ankle was too bad as he went. He did a very fine job sliding over to help out defensively and bothered the shot. Kenny Anderson at the point. Dennis Scott. Now, when you talk about Scott's ability to shoot him, and it cuts it to a five-point Georgia Tech pushing. Anderson gets it in low. Mackey over a double team. Mackey's really important in sends cleans up underneath. Megan's got great position. He has 11 points. And Anderson almost has it stripped away. He goes up and scores. Freshman on one end and a freshman on the other end. Just when you think he's in there dribbling the basketball. The six-point lead. Monroe drives the lane. The tip doesn't go. And Oliver the rebound. And now Tech wants to run with a three-on-two. Oh, my! Anderson didn't get it to drop, but he's fouled. He makes some difficult maneuvers look awfully easy. Makes me want to go home and try that, but I know the ball will end up in the neighbor's driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Anderson at the line. He's got 10 points on today. And 10 assists, so he's already in his double-double. And he had a triple-double earlier this year, only the 10th time that's happened in conference history. And the other guys who did that basically got their triple-doubles with points, rebounds, and blocked shots. There's very few who did it with points, rebounds, and assists. And you're talking guys like Ralph Sampson, Derek Lewis, three rounds. Just of three-point events so far today. We Yellow, thought it would be. Yellow Jackets playing the zone now, coming out of that timeout. Not a good pass inside, and Anderson's going to come out of there with it. Takes Corciani, the hole off the glass. He is absolutely amazing 
with the basketball in transition. He's got 14. Tech. Anderson. Matthew looking for the ball. How did he see Oliver? I right. couldn't see through there. <laughs> right back. Kenny Anderson will set it for Georgia Tech at the point. Nice move around Feggins. Got a little too deep on the baseline, but he got his own rebound. Now, Fagans did not do a very good job helping his teammate Chris Corciani. He'll be right back in the game, Chris Corciani here. He's trying to get some things set for the stretch run. Nice drive by Anderson. That ties Georgia Tech's biggest lead. They're up by 15, thanks to Kenny Anderson, who has 10 points this half.